The goldfish is a freshwater fish and is one of the most popular fish to keep as pet in aquariums, fish bowls, or small ponds. They are actually the most common household pet in the United States. The goldfish is native to East Asia. It's a relatively small member of the carp family. The average lifespan of a pet goldfish is about 5 to 10 years. In the wild, they can live as long as 25 years. In fact, the oldest goldfish ever recorded was 43 years old. When most people think of goldfish, they don't realize that this common pet has a rather noble history. Goldfish, as we know them today, are all descendants of the Prussian carp, which are native to Eastern and Southeastern Asia. The goldfish of today look nothing like their dull-colored ancestors. It was during the Song Dynasty from 960 to 1279 AD in ancient China that people started to breed silver-colored carp. Once breeding began, a color mutation appeared resulting in yellow-orange scales. Yellow was the imperial color and forbidden to be kept by anyone other than members of the royal family. Commoners had to stick to the orange version, calling them goldfish. In ancient China, it was common to raise goldfish in outdoor ponds and water gardens, which people still do today. On special occasions, or when there was an exceptionally beautiful specimen, goldfish were placed on display indoors in small containers. During the Ming Dynasty around 1276 AD, goldfish were officially bred and brought indoors, achieving red, gold, spotted, and other colored fish. Additionally, the fancy-tailed goldfish began to make an appearance. They were brought to the United States in the late 1800s. These days, goldfish come in all shapes, sizes, fin styles, eye-setting configurations, and colors. Most goldfish that you see in pet stores come from commercial breeders, usually located in Thailand, Japan, China, or Indonesia. While commercial goldfish are yellow, gold, and a lot of other colors, wild goldfish are almost exclusively olive green or dark gray. Commercial goldfish are suited for indoor living only, but there are species of pond goldfish that thrive in outdoor water gardens and ponds and can grow to be very large. Goldfish are the most popular pet fish and can be found at pet stores around the country. Common goldfish, the ones that you can win at country fairs, are actually one of the largest species of goldfish, capable of reaching lengths over 18 inches and weighing up to 10 pounds. Even the smallest goldfish species reach adult lengths between 4 and 7 inches and are best suited for 20 gallon or larger aquariums, not fish bowls. The size of your goldfish tank will affect its growth to an extent, but there are other factors to consider, like the fish's diet and cleanliness of its environment. Depending on the species, a goldfish can end up being 2 feet long or as small as 2 inches. In the wild, Goldfish are omnivores, eating aquatic vegetation, frogs, fish eggs, and insect larvae. Pet goldfish do well with pellet fish food supplemented with vegetables, but some fancier varieties may require a decent amount of live food in their diet or they run the risk of developing intestinal problems. Despite the popular myth that goldfish die young, goldfish are one of the longest living fishes out there with the oldest recorded living goldfish reaching the age of 49 years old. The main reason why so many goldfish die young is that they aren't kept in the proper conditions. On average, goldfish kept in a bowl have the shortest lifespan at about five years. Goldfish living indoors in an aquarium can live up to 10 years, while those kept outdoors in a water garden or pond can live at least 20 years, sometimes up to 30 or 40 years. Goldfish can vary in size depending on the type of goldfish as well as their environment. Some goldfish have been known to grow up to 2 feet long and nearly 10 pounds. This is rare for a goldfish, however. If you have yours in a fishbowl, don't expect it to get much bigger than a few inches long. Goldfish are egg layers. Their eggs are adhesive, and attached to dense aquatic vegetation. 
The eggs hatch within 48 to 72 hours. Newborn goldfish are called fry. Within a week or so, the fry begins to assume its final shape, although a year may pass before they develop a mature goldfish color. In their first few weeks of life, the fry grow quickly, an adaptation born of the high risk of getting devoured by the adult goldfish or other fish or insects in their environment. In the wild, goldfish prefer fresh water, particularly slow-moving calm water. Goldfish have also shown preference to thick and muddy water, and cloudy or dense water doesn't bother them at all. In other areas, goldfish populations have been found happily living in stagnant backwaters where they feast on the ample aquatic plant life. An ideal goldfish home will also have fish eggs, insect larvae, and crustaceans roaming around for the fish to feast on. Goldfish also prefer cooler waters. Goldfish are freshwater fish and like to live in water that is 50 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit and for this reason shouldn't be kept in tropical aquariums. Another thing to keep in mind if you want to pet goldfish is that they require twice the amount of space that tropical fish require. So don't overload your tank. When living in aquariums, they like a lot of space. At least 10 gallons of water for each fish but the more space the better as this gives them more oxygen which they get out of the water. There are many types or breeds of goldfish. They can vary in size, color, and shape. Many are orange gold in color, but some are grayish white with orange spots like comet goldfish, and some have black spots or are olive green. There are fancy goldfish like the ones that have a butterfly or peacock type tail. The eggfish goldfish has a more rounded shape, sort of like an egg. One type of goldfish, the bubble eye goldfish, has big bubbly looking eyes that bulge out from its head. Goldfish are probably smarter than you realize. Some goldfish can see and remember well enough to distinguish between people. They often notice the person that feeds them each day and will get excited when they see them. There have been cases where goldfish have been trained to do tricks like swimming through mazes. They swim through hoops, pull levers to release food, or even push a ball into a net. Goldfish have one of the most studied senses of vision in fishes. Goldfish have four kinds of cone cells in their eyes, which are respectively sensitive to different colors, red, green, blue, and ultraviolet. Their ability to distinguish between four different primary colors classifies them as tetrachromats. Goldfish live and sleep with their eyes open. In fact, they don't have eyelids, so they can't close their eyes even if they wanted to. Goldfish that have constant visual contact with humans also stop considering them to be a threat. After being kept in a tank for several weeks, sometimes months, it becomes possible to feed a goldfish by hand without it shying away. Despite common belief, goldfish do not have three second memories. They can actually remember things that happened up to three months ago and sometimes even more.